coming into this record attempt, I hadn't shot revolver probably uh, 10 years really hard at this level. So if I could get somewhere around a two, I'll just be tickled pink and three runs. If I get a two, I'm, I'm good to go. Get ready. Stand by. So what I was looking for on that race gun was I wanted a scanning frame. I wanted to kind of get a lightweight. You know, I'm shooting multiple targets. So the, the whole weight of the gun, the lighter it is, is the quicker I can produce it to the target and then also start and stop it. The gun I'm building for this event is kind of a hodgepodge of several models that Smith & Wesson has made in the past. Fortunate for me, I've been working with some of the Smith & Wesson engineers and they're digging through all the old parts bins. The frame is a model 327 which I really like a scanium frame coming out of the holster. It's very lightweight, easy to get up on target and stop. And it's gonna be chambered in nine millimeter, which is something I wanted from 30 years ago. It will allow me to shoot a lighter ammunition that's gonna be more consistent to the application that I need the gun to perform. I'm gonna have an alloy of titanium cylinder, which I really like. Titanium probably weighs a third of a stainless steel cylinder. So it takes less energy in my finger to get it started. It's got all the food groups to race with. All it need is a good finger to run it. 